What's going on y'all? Today we're going to be cracking open MetaZoo and for those of you that don't know what it is, it's a new TCG that's kind of taken the world by storm. It's still fairly new to me. I came across it about a couple months ago and by that point it was already way too late to get their Kickstarter products. They were, were far sold out by then. Um, so their official release was actually, what day is it today? Today is August 2nd. I think I'm putting this out on my birthday. Hey, leave a like and subscribe for my birthday. I'd appreciate it. But um, this came out on the 30th, so I think that was like for me last Friday. So I was able to get a hold of some product. I have a spell book that we're going to be opening up today. It comes with like 10 booster packs, a promo card, a metallic coin, sleeves, a map of all, where all the cryptids are. And cryptids are on this first set. It's based off of cryptids, which is like folklore, Mothman, Bigfoot, all that good stuff. So not much else to say. Let's just crack this open and kind of talk about MetaZoo. It's still fairly new, so let's get into it. All right, yo. So I'm trying out a new mic today. This is actually the mic that I'm going to start doing my vlogs with, so I'm going to see if I like it. If not, I'll probably switch back to the other one that I got. But before we get this open, I actually have this really cool Collecticon MetaZoo promo that my friend Dominic got me, and then I ended up getting a uh, Kickstarter pack signed by the actual creator of MetaZoo, which was really cool. So shout out to Dominic. I really appreciated that. And yeah, let's get this cracked open, y'all. First time me officially opening up MetaZoo, so I'm excited. I think this game has a lot of charm. I think it's a lot of fun. I've only got to play it a couple times. I ended up ordering a whole bunch of structure decks and a couple of these spell books, and I ended up getting a booster box as well. Uh, whether I'm going to open that or not, I'm not totally sure. I would like to have a, another one before I decide to do something like that. So um, let's get into this first. This is going to be a little difficult, but this is the cryptid map. Um, probably won't not going to open this, but there you can see like in the different parts of America that will show you where all the cryptids are. I know eventually they're probably going to branch out to like other countries. But yeah, this is honestly really cool. And I know they're having like different deals they have going on right now. I've heard rumor of licensing for a TV show and then they're going to be working with the people that print Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, all that kind of stuff. So the card quality is going to step up here soon. But here's the promo that it comes with. So this is the Cryptid Nation promo. This is really cool. Definitely keep this sealed. I think you get one of these maybe in the booster box as well, but I'm not totally sure. And I love the nostalgic Starfoil. Absolutely love it. That's what actually got me like super drawn into this in the first place. I just really like the watercolor art and everything. This feels really nostalgic. I'm a 90s baby, what can I say? And let's see what this is. What is this? I'm not totally sure this is an aura. Let me read what comes with this. Here's the booster packs that we're going to be opening up. Let's put those off to the side. A little rule book. I will absolutely read over this. <laughs> it was kind of confusing the first time I played it, but it was a lot of fun. And I think these are the sleeves that it comes with, so pretty cool. Uh, the other booster packs, I suppose. Here is the metallic coin. I don't know if I can get this in focus. It's pretty shiny. Let's see. There we go, first edition, MetaZoo, Cryptid Nation. All right. And this just might be auras, but I'm gonna read the box. And this is all different tokens and stuff like that, so I'm gonna put those off to the side. A couple of them fell out. But let's read on the side of this real quick. Cryptid map, sealed holographic promo card, six MetaZoo sleeves, so I don't know, I think uh, I'm not totally sure what these are, honestly. It says uh, the 10 booster packs, the sealed holographic promo card, metallic coin, a rule book, 60 sleeves, a cryptid Mac, and a token sheet. It didn't say anything about this, so um, you know what? Just for the sake of this, let's get this open. Let's see if I can do this carefully. I'd be willing to bet that this is just a bunch of aura cards, which is totally fine, especially if they're holographic. All right. Oh yeah. So these are just a bunch of aura cards, which is actually really cool. So I'm not gonna go into all these. There's earth, frost, water, spirit, cosmic, dark, flame, you know, light, lightning, spirit. I think I already said spirit, but 
Nice, so that's what these are. I kind of figured, but I just wanted to make sure. And it came with one hollow one, so that's pretty cool. Once again, the star foil is really nice. All right, so let's get these 10 packs opened up. I am definitely looking forward to some of these cards. Or I should say I'm definitely like wanting to chase some of these cards, so. open these carefully I don't think there's a card trick so let's just get it rolling all right snow snake for the first card tripadero antidote necromancy earthquake infield monster cool I think this is the uncommon oh I think I just saw something whoops thorned whip and the uncommon and we have, I think, a ho reverse hollow uncommon, let's say, mini hune. So check that out. That's really nice. All right, so there's our reverse hollow. And then it comes with a mountain field thing, and it comes with a cosmic aura. And that's one thing that I heard that these are new to the first edition packs, I think. Because I'm not, I do not believe that an aura and a field thing, whatever you want to call it, um, came in the Kickstarter ones. I want to know if there's a better way for me to open these up. Let's see. Alright, here we go. Oh, white thing. This guy's cool. My friend played it against me in the, the little frost structure deck when I first played it. Chibi Mothman. John Salamander, that's really cool because I actually want to play the Salamander deck. Pyrokinetic Blast. Gluttony in the Uncommon. Luck Potion. Squink! And we have an Undenying Fire Crystal. So this is a Reverse Hollow Rare, which is actually really cool. Put that over there. And we have the Farm Field. And it looks like we have Dark Aura. All right, here we go. Definitely want to pull the Mothman, obviously. All right, here we go. Joint Snake. We have the Bunny Man, Paralyze, Ma uh, Matlocks, Invisibility, Proton Beam, oh, oh man, sorry about that, Fog of War, and it looks like we have a Mermaid Scales in a Reverse Rare, I would love to get a full Hollow in these packs, hopefully we'll get one, the Reverses still look really nice though, anything with that Cosmic Starfoil I'm going to be super stoked with, I want to see something really quickly. Nope, tried to open them the normal way, but they're going to make it hard for us. So this is a card game that would be really fun. And first of all, I haven't even showed the backs of the cards yet. These are kind of all based on like a spell book. And these are like things that you can like summon from the spell book, which is really cool. All right. Snow Wasset. But yeah, this is a fun card game that you could teach somebody. It's kind of slow. Um, I'm sure like the more competitive versions are a lot faster, but it's like a um, turn by turn kind of thing. It's not like Yu-Gi-Oh where it's like super fast. So it's really cool. Something a little, little change of pace. Chibi. Oh, dang. These cards keep sticking together, but look at this. Lizard Man of Scape or Swamp. Couldn't read it for a second, but that reverse hollow is really sick. All right, so we're getting reverse rares, which is nice. Uh, don't want any reverse commons, but I'm sure we'll get one sooner than later. 10 packs, I think there's, how many packs left? Six. All right, here we go. White thing. Broom. GG Bird, this one's really cool, so I think, what does it say, it, these things have like really funny, like little 
things that you have to do. So it says, while Gigi Bird is in the arena, opposing casters must reveal a page from their chapter targeting Gigi Bird with attack. If a caster that controls an opposing page in combat or that is targeted by this attack, it does not say, GG's, that's cold. Target opposing page in, complex, uh, in combat is inflicted with, I forgot what that symbol means, but you know, <laughs> there's a lot of really, like, really fun, silly things that go on with these cards. Sewer Alligator, that's pretty cool. Just eating some Zabra. So with this one, oh yeah, so this one's Squoink, right? It says if you're crying tears, Squoink has, I don't know what that symbol is. I'm still really new to this. If any opposing caster cries tears, Squoink appreciates the sympathy and leaves the arena. That's pretty funny. So make yourself cry. He will be sympathetic and go away. Grounding. Uh, Oh man, I keep doing it. <laughs> God. Hugging Molly. All right. And we got another reverse. Medium's third eye. I've never seen this card before. I've seen a lot of these. So this one's really cool. Another reverse rare, I'm pretty sure. So love to see it. Meteor shower. And we have a forest aura. These are kind of matted. They're kind of a different quality than some of the Kickstarter ones that I've opened up. So. They stick to each other a little bit more. So there's something about the one that comes right before a hollow that makes it really hard to open these up. Or shuffle them, you know what I mean, or whatever. All right, telekinesis, paralyze, joint snake, water gun, balancing beam, scatter shot, and I just did it again. I'm so classic, I'm so good at this. I am the best pack opener ever, but Salem's Witches, and of course we have Metal Man of Alabama in the Reverse Hollow. Another rare, nice to see that. River, and a Frost Aura. Still hoping for a full hollow. We have not pulled one yet, but we have four packs left, so let's go. Sam's EMF device, Joint Snake, Chibi Moth Man, Silver Cat, love it, you know, I love cats, Ice Spell, see I'm going to go slow this time so I don't mess it up, Hugging Molly, and we have a Hoop Snake, this card's really cool actually, and we have the Lake Worth Monster in the reverse, so I think this one's an uncommon because it's bronze up here. Maybe a common, I'm not totally sure. But that's cool. We have Lake and a Spirit Aura. Looking real, real menacing. Alright. Yeah, that was tricky. Remember to like and subscribe if you like the content I got going on. I truly appreciate it. And let's get into these last three packs. Chibi Moth Man. Sam's Rabbit Foot, Snow Wasset, uh, Rump, Rumple Fissile, Power Up Blue, Proton Beam, of course, Classic Me once again, but we have not seen this card yet, Retribution, and we have the Funeral Mountain Terror Shot in the Reverse Hollow. So I think actually this one's the uncommon, and the one we pulled before it was a normal common. Whoa, it is thundering outside of my house. I don't know if y'all heard that. That was pretty loud. It knows we're opening up MetaZoo and we're having a really spooky time over here. All right, last two packs, y'all, before I lose all power. All right, here we go. Last two packs, Frozen People. Haste, Health Potion, Cactus Cat, whoa, I love this card. Anything cat related I'm into, Earthquake, Rock Rain, The Spookster, and we have a Lightning Glass in the Reverse Rare. Oh man, I'm really hoping in this last pack we can get a full hollow. If not, I'm going to cry myself to sleep, y'all. All right, we have the Mothman pack to finish it all up, so hopefully we can pull a full hollow Mothman in this very last pack. 
because I want to go to sleep and I don't want to cry myself to sleep, so let's try to avoid that today, all right? Here we go. Chaos Potion, Chibi Mothman, White Thing, Hoop Snake, Fog of War, Icy Path, and we have a sp the Space Penguins. Wow, okay, so this is a reverse common. But you know what, just the card art alone, super into it. We have some space penguins, y'all. Has the extra terrestrial little symbol up here, so this would be a part of like the alien deck. So that's pretty neat. Mountain and spirit aura. So that is, my friends, the spell book. Y'all saw what it came with. It came with a whole bunch of stuff. It came with sleeves, the token page. It came with 10 booster packs. It came with a bunch of auras and all sorts of goodies. So remember to like and subscribe if you like the content I got going on. And hopefully we'll continue to be opening up some MetaZoo because I think this has a lot, of, a lot, a lot of promise and it looks like a lot of fun. So see you guys soon. And if you open anything up, good luck on your pools.